Hey, my name is Josh Theberge, and I've been on the road for almost two years now in the van life community. A lot of people see my van and they probably get a little bit uh, discouraged when they think about having to try and buy a van. But um, we met a couple that uh, two days ago that was traveling in a really nice van, you know, it was that they bought for 7,500 bucks. So you don't need a van with all the bells and whistles to get into van life, you know. You can just buy, you know, a used van for probably like 2,500 bucks or something like that and you're in van life. I mean, that's it. Uh, I built this van out uh, a couple years ago. I was watching a lot of YouTube videos, getting ideas. It actually, uh, the, the planning process actually took me almost just as long as I actually took to build it. I wanted to make sure I got the floor plan right. Um, the first thing I decided I definitely wanted was I wanted my kitchen faucet um, and sink in the doorway so that I could flip it around and take some showers. And the second cool thing about having the sink in the doorway is I have um, a flip down table um, that I can access all my cooking gear and I can use this as a cooktop. So this is my drinking water. Um, I got two gallons here and um, I also have like my trekking poles and bear spray and you know, a knife and bug spray and stuff like that. But if I'm ever in a place where the drinking water isn't clean to drink um, straight from the faucet, I typically carry an extra two gallons of water um, just to have. Um, and um, that works out pretty well. So as I said, uh, you saw the underside of the sink, but um, here's the front side. Just got like my protein powders and cooking gear. This is my breakfast mixture that I make with seeds and nuts and all kinds of good stuff and then in here I have my four gallon water heater and some spices and stuff like that um, but uh, yeah this is where um, I can take hot showers and do my dishes and wash my hands with hot or warm water under here is uh, this is a seat but under here is where I keep my my dirty laundry and trash but I'm uh, not gonna open that and show you that but um, that's where I keep the uh, the yucky yuck stuff and then here's a table that I installed um, I actually went for a year with a flip up table that I installed and um, that was kind of like in the way and it wasn't really um, it wasn't really ergonomic and um, I like having this table which I just installed um, at the beginning of year two and this is a, a lagoon table it's made for it's actually made for yachts and um, the cool thing is, is that it swivels in multiple different directions. So if I want to use it as a stand-up desk, I can use it as a stand-up desk. If I want to use it as a, a table to watch movies and stuff like that, I can watch movies in bed. And then this goes up and down and I can lower this into a dining table. So you could have a couple people here having dinner. Um, so this is really, honestly, it's like four things in one. So yeah, I just remove the cushion. I throw it up here, pop this up and we're good to go I mean this is the toilet it's got a little trap door for for number two and then the the urine goes in there we, this is my fridge it's an isotherm fridge um, it's a really nice fridge it's got a built-in freezer and um, it's kind of a mess right now but uh, you know that's pretty much what I eat on a day-to-day -day basis um, you know fruits vegetables this is my pantry so this is where I keep all my all my non-perishable foods, and um, stocked pretty well. I got Nate traveling with me, so we got a bunch of food here. So down here is um, this is kind of where everybody has that drawer in their kitchen where they store all their stuff that they just don't know what to do with. And this is this is sort of that drawer. So I got you know cologne, hand sanitizer, um, lotions, you know, just general stuff. Um, tinctures that I make, I make my own clone. Um, you know, chopsticks. This is a, a GPS unit for when I'm backcountry hiking. This is a power power source for when I'm backcountry hiking. That's pretty much it. I got uh, U4 USB chargers here, so I can charge all my electronics here. And then I have 
you know, outlets on, on this side and on this side for running 110 volt stuff, which is pretty much like my drone stuff, my camera stuff, and my cooktop. Those are pretty much the only things that I charge. Um, these are all storage up here. I'm not going to show you all of them, but you know, this one is pretty much like just kind of like work stuff, paperwork and stuff, books and, and that kind of stuff. Same thing in this one and all of these pretty much really. And then, um, you know, these are pretty much just cooking stuff, pots and pans and uh, cooking gear. This is like my backcountry cooking gear and stuff like that. Uh, this is my, <clears throat> my closet here. So I have like little, you know, little cubbies for underwears and socks and all that kind of good stuff. And, you know, I have, you know, some dress shirts in case I need to look presentable, which is pretty much never. You know, I got, and then I got my top drawer, top drawer here with my, you know, kitchen utensil type stuff. And then these are all just clothes and stuff, shirts and shorts and pants. And I keep some of my camera gear in here um, just because it, I don't, I want to take care of it and I don't want it to like roll around and stuff like that. So I actually keep it in, uh, I kind of converted my shorts. I don't have that many pairs of shorts. I have like four pairs of shorts. So I um, kind of hijacked my shorts drawer and turned it into a, my camera equipment drawer. And then up here, is all the rest of my storage um i got you know i got a lot of like um you know outdoor gear this is my drone here um jackets um and this is pretty much like all this is all the stuff that i um that i when, whenever i need to like grab and go like quickly all the all that kind of stuff is up here so um you know if i'm climbing i got rope and stuff like that backpacking i got my backpack here um hammock drone uh, my other this is like all my drone equipment but this is my actual drone here and then like I have like my camera equipment here so I can just grab this and go if I need to do like a like a, a bigger more bigger photography job I can grab the whole bag here the garage it's kind of a mess right now so please forgive me and all these containers um, I have I have six of these and um, this is all my outdoor gear. So I have, you know, all my camping gear, all my backpacking gear, um, all my rock climbing gear, my kayaking gear, um, pretty much all the stuff that takes me outside and it gets me outside. So um, I know it's a lot of a lot of stuff and a lot of space, but I justify this because this is what makes me happy. So a lot of this other stuff is just like backpacking gear and. Um, and, and uh, other stuff that just won't fit in these containers. But my backpack, I access. I need to access frequently when I'm going like when I'm going out into um, uh, on backpacking trips. So that's that's pretty much ready to go whenever I need it. Back here is my inverter, my breaker, my breaker panel, and breakers. Behind all that stuff, you can't see it. Uh, maybe I'll um, maybe I'll get you guys some photos and stuff like that, but it's really just my battery um, It's a 300 amp hour lithium battery and that stores all the power from the solar panel and that allows me to camp off-grid for weeks at a time We got my solar panel here um, These are the fans so um, from inside the, the van you can, I can open these fans and uh, they work both ways, so they, they can either blow air into the van or they can pull air out of the van. So typically what I'll do is I'll turn one on push air in and I'll turn the other fan on pull air out. So the van, so the, the fans work as like a sort of like a wind tunnel and one fan is pulling out the hot air, the other fan is pulling in the cool air and it really, really gets the van nice and cold. I'd go out to these bars and restaurants and nightclubs with all my friends and you know be wearing you know fancy clothes and watches and driving fancy car and all that stuff and not only was I wasting my money but I was wasting I felt like I was wasting my time you know as you get older you accumulate more money but you lose time so old people have plenty of money but not a lot of time and young people have a lot of time and, and not a lot of money and I had um, I had some money and I was wasting my time in, at these places and when I finally realized that and I was and I just I just had this thought like I'm wasting all my money and all my time 
projecting an image of somebody that I'm not. And all, all I'm projecting is what I've been told to project my whole life, whether it be through movies or TV or my parents telling me or, or teachers telling me that this is this is success. You know, this is this is what you're supposed to be and this is what you're supposed to have and you're supposed to want these things. But really, it's all just part of feeding the machine, because if you're not buying those things and contributing to fashion and light luxury and all those things, then you can you don't have to work as hard because you're not spending as much money and I think a lot of people get caught in this wheel where they just feel like they have to spend money to project this image and I guess that's kind of you know what led me to van life is I was done projecting this image and I wanted to not waste any more time and money on projecting this image and do a complete 180 and spend as much time doing the things that I love and doing the things that I wanted to do and the easiest way to do that was to move into a vehicle that can take me to these places.